Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Betty and in this video I am going to talk about books I read in February. It is now the 17th and I am going to review the first three books I read so far in February. Um, I prefer to review books right after I read them because it's easier to remember the details and all that. Uh, so that's why I'm doing making this video like this. Um, so yeah, let's begin. The first book was actually a ebook. It was the Riverdale first book, like the Comic Con books. Um, I bought it for like a euro or something. And well, I had this feeling that a few pages were missing or something. So I didn't like it. Maybe that was because uh, there were a couple of pages missing and it was really weird it was like super short and according to the goodreads page it has like 150 pages or something and mine had like 30 pages which was strange um i'm not really a huge fan of the riverdale series on netflix um but i still wanted to try and to see if i would like the comic books um, but yeah, you can guess it. I didn't like it, Maybe, probably because I don't know, it was a little bit boring. The second book I read is How Do You Like Me Now by Holly Bourne. And to be honest, this book is not bad at all. But two days after finishing this book, I knew I had to write a review about a book, which was this one. Um, but I had no idea what the book was about a anymore and I completely forgot about this book. So that's never a good, really great time. But I still have to admit it wasn't bad. It was just not rememberable, I guess. Um, it's about being in an emotional abusive relationship, which is not great. It's a very toxic relationship. And... Tori has no idea what to do because she's like 30 plus and she doesn't want to be single and 30 so she's really struggling with that and at the same time she is like this guru about relationships and happy life and while well, she is not ha happy herself um, it was not bad I really like Holly Bourne's books uh, they are always like funny and relatable and well, the, obviously this one was not really relatable because I'm not in an abusive relationship. But yeah, still really fun to read. Um, so yeah, that was the second book I read so far. And the third book is not a non-fiction book. It is The Breaking Habit of Being Yourself. I started reading this in January. And I decided to read one chapter every single morning. Um, it's about how you can change yourself. So everyone has their own habits. And one habit that I have is like I spend too much time on my phone. But if you really have to want to change that and you, if you want to change your outer world, you have to change the inner world. So... It's really focused on how you can change your life basically by going inward and inside the body and notice how you are feeling and how you can you are in control of your feelings and all that now you can change your life basically it's really good if you are struggling at this moment and you know you want to change a couple of things about yourself uh, I think this is a really great book. It's also related to meditations and why meditations can really help to change and all that. It's really good. Um, yeah, I really like reading non-fiction books about this kind of topic because it's so interesting and it really helps me to improve myself. Um, so yeah, uh, this was my third book I read in February. Yes, it is already February. This time for another update, I did a reading weekend basically and I read a lot. 
and it was amazing um but i finished two books um the first one was love you love you not by joe watson and i just love this one i think this is probably my favorite of this month um last month i also read love to hate you by joe watson and that book was also amazing so i think i found a new favorite author which is amazing so this book is about a puppy and she is an actress of she wants to be an actress um but she doesn't get any jobs in the acting world so she has to take a real job and she basically is lying about her resume who she really is she even changed her name and this guy she is going to work for ryan is like well i don't know how to describe him he is like angry frustrated and he's trying to be this mean boss and but when he meets poppy uh he knows uh, that she's different and he is basically falling for her and yeah i really like this one another book that i read this month or this weekend and uh, another book i read this weekend was 99 days by katie Gontunio, something like that um yeah so at the beginning of this book molly is this girl and she's not very popular because she cheated on her ex-boyfriend with his older brother and normally you would think that someone will learn from that mistake but apparently molly is not that kind of person because she cheats again basically and I don't know that is probably one of the reasons why i didn't like really like this book it's not because it is a bad book or anything but i didn't like that this character decides to cheat again on her boyfriend and i don't know that was not really great um but i liked her writing style so it's not I read a really bad book but it was just not my cup of tea um so yeah so these were the books i read in february uh love you not love you not was definitely my favorite um i want to thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time